If we play a game of spot the difference, okay, mm -hmm. you can see narrower stance on that right hand image there, mm -hmm. and you're more, if we sort of put Forward. a light, yeah, everything's down kind of on this left yeah. side here, everything's down, it's going to encourage this downward strike, yeah. okay? Yeah. If we get too wide and Is too that level. I would say really? anything, what would, we've got the mini par threes. Yeah. When you're getting to that mini par three, so 75 yards, yes. 60 yards, depending on the club you're taking, if it's yeah. a full sand dine, then it's a full swing, you're like that. Mm -hmm. If it's a non full shot, you're more into that. Okay, so shot, that's the position you're going to get into, okay? So this is your back swing before, 50 yards, that's just a lot of swing. Yeah. If I saw that there with that, I think it's crazy, 70 or 80 yards at least. So because of that now, as you come back to the golf ball, right you can see that. what you've got to try and scoop, flick, and sort of pull your hand into the pocket. This one here now with a narrower swing, or well, it's a narrower setup. And you see that little bump to the left side there, gets yourself lined up nicely. As you go back, you just create less power. So the club's gone back less, not as much less as you probably thought when you see that. You probably thought your arms were only going back to kind of here somewhere, but that's still fine, okay? And as you go through the golf ball, you can swing your arms a bit more there rather than kind of... But there's sort of, I mean, Looking for it, yeah. I mean, look yeah. at that there. I mean, yeah. that's just like, yeah. like yeah. your left wrist is all yeah. broken yeah. underneath it. And um, that's just... Makes, makes so much sense when you can see it. Of course you can, yeah. And the thing is, if you did that, when you first started playing golf, you would just skull that across the ground like a rocket because you just flip the club. Now you can control the club through the hitting area, so you get a reasonable strike, mm -hmm. but it's a lot of loft. You look at the actual angle in that to that, you're adding so much loft to the golf club. Mm -hmm. So to get it to go the right distance, you're almost going to hit it harder, but you're also going to decelerate because you've gone back too far. Mm -hmm. So now that all that combination of going back, so a 50-yard shot, for example, is going to incorporate an 80-yard backswing then reducing 30 yards, but adding a bit more because I'm going to scoop underneath it to add more loss. It's going to go less than what it should do. Mm. So I'm going to put 10 yards. It's a guess, isn't it? And that's mm. why you, your judgment of distance will be off sometimes. And that's on a good strike, on a mm. good lie. If it's a slightly dodgy lie, there's a bit of a slope one way or tether, there's a bit of water in front or bunker, the anxiety, a little bit twitchy, you scull across the green. This one here now is a lot more kind of, your arms are continuing to go. Your hands can flick and scoop, that's fine, as long as the arms keep going. Look at the triangle now that your arms are making there at swing. That's all staying together, going through nicely. Mm. Whereas if we look at this sort of same motion through here now, <laughs> just a, yeah, it's just a scoop right, flick underneath. Yeah, exactly. Block that away. Get, get that away from my left. I don't want to see it, okay? Um, one question. Yes, mate. Uh, on incline or decline? Yep. What's the best way to... Down the shaft. When you say it's so when the ball's above your feet and below your feet, yes. Yeah? Yes. So if it's above, so if we, I'll just I I'll draw some. I found the other day that I was, I was leaning over and I, it was going right. Yeah. To okay. So if we just, I'll draw some. So if we think, if we are going in that direction towards the target, okay. So I will use the blue line here. So if you're on a slope, a leaning slope this mm -hmm. way, okay. And there's your golf ball. So this mm -hmm. golf ball now, because of that slope, is going to want to curve to the right. Okay, mm -hmm. so you'll have to aim to the left slightly. Right. To get yourself down to the ball, you need to tilt more over the golf ball and sort of sink back to get your balance there. Okay. Right. Depending on the severity of the slope will determine whether or not you can give it a full swing, or you go no, nope, I've got to pitch it out sideways and not going to. So the seven is a good example. If you go on the right hand side of seven on the Mac, mm -hmm. that's possibly sort of 25, 30 degree slope at certain mm -hmm. parts. Yeah. Now you might have 140 yards to go. Yeah, even 140 yards in your sleep. But if the ball's like that, in the rough, over trees, with a small target to go for, if you miss the green, you tough chip, mm. don't take it on. Mm. Think, okay, right, I'm going to wedge it back up to the top of the hill there where the bunker yeah. is, and then an easy shot yeah, of the green yeah. for my third. Yeah. If it's on the side of the ninth, for example, and it's just a slight little downward thing, maybe so mm. far below mm. your feet, yeah, we can do that, that's fine. Mm. There's not much danger around that green, we can aim on the left-hand side and cut it back that way. So you can't go up the club to make the club longer. You could take more club. Yeah. And swing a little bit smoother, okay? Depending obviously what's in front. If the green, if the fairway slopes that way, a ball is above your feet, so now the ball is up here somewhere, yeah. that golf ball is going to want to curve that way. So again, you aim to the right, and you can so make the club shorter. Yeah. Yes. So you, you drip, drip down, down just yeah. a little bit. And there's a little bit of play with that, and just sort of a judgment, I guess, of how much you want to grip down, and okay? There's not an exact, oh, if it's one inch above, you go down half an inch, and two, you go, mm. it's just a judgment thing, okay? And but again, depending on the severity of the lie, if the lie's really bad, well, okay, just back on the fairway. The lie of the ground and the lie of the golf ball in terms of depth of grass, it will all incorporate the same thing. If it's crap and you can't play it, then you've got to wedge it out sideways.
just because you can get the. I, I've had it before. I've been 100 yards in the green and I'm chipping out sideways because the ground is the balls are know that far below my feet in grass is this long. Mm. So I'm just literally just getting the ball back into play within 50 yards of the green, mm. trying to pitch it on there, make mm. the score from that way, not trying to play a miracle shot and then messing it up. And seven's mm. quite a good example. A lot of guys end up down that right hand side. You then you got a distance. Okay, 120. Oh, 120 yards. Yeah, I can do that easy. Ball that far below your feet. Mm over trees, at a rough, with a mm. green that's coming from an angle, mm. it's narrow coming across that green. Funny enough, I had two shots in it, exactly what you were saying. I said, oh, I need to get over the trees. Yeah. And it went, it went boom. Stuffed into the yeah. 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 And I picked another shot in the exactly the same. Yeah. And the thing is, if you, you could... I you could, could laugh to myself, right? Yeah. So I mean, you I could stand there with 20 so balls, and you'd probably... The, yeah. Into the left. Yeah. I would say for you, I mean, the thing to look at is, if you, if you were given 10 balls, would you hit that green six, seven times out of ten. Mm. And the chances are probably no. no. Okay, the first two you missed, you might have a couple to the left and maybe you got the fifth or sixth one eventually on there. You'd have, right, you'd have, you'd have, you'd have figured out eventually, yeah, yeah, but even only hitting two or three out of ten, given ten shots to do that, you're only getting one shot in golf to do it. Yeah. So if you're relying on all that different fluctuations and compensations, and even then you're hitting two out of ten, it's not a shot to worth taking on. So yeah, okay, right, where can I go? And that's when it comes to, okay, you then like 80 yards. So if you like 80 yards and you've got 130 back here, right, if I go... 60 yards in that direction, that'll kind of make 80 yards there because obviously there's angles of directions. Um, then you lose every yard as you like. Mm. So you're playing to strength, making the shots easier. Mm. And again, if you're in the right and rough there, make a five. Yeah. You walk to the 80 again, okay, got two points still. Yeah. I could still potentially knock it on close, yeah. and you know I might even hold the putt for a four. Mm. But you're taking away that. If that's in a medal, for example, and you're on the bank for one, rubbish for two, drop three, rubbish for four, drop five, you're playing your six shot, and I think, well, I can't go outside, I've got to try at least go for it eventually. Mm. Eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve. Mm. Okay, mate, makes sense. Good man. Very pleased mm. to see him, i got to say.